What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be going over all of the, uh, not rewards, we're going to be going all over all of the current series signature 2 cards in NBA 2K22 my team. So, we're going to see the signed cards, and we're going to go current series 2, and we're going to see which of these guys are going to be worth picking up. So, the players are, so Dwight Howard is the pack opening event, it is the pack opening event. And, uh, don't worry, lads, I had to, uh, I had to turn off chat box before it got bad. But, um, so, we have got Ruby Jose Calderon, Ruby Des Mason, Amethyst Dwan Howard, Amethyst Bruce Bowen, Diamond LaMarcus Aldridge, Diamond Jalen Brown, Diamond Steph Curry, or say Pink Diamond Steph Curry, and Autograph Dwight Howard. So Dwight Howard is going to be the toughest one to get. Obviously, he's a pack opening event. We can't forget that. So, Jose Calderon first. So Jose Calderon, base 40 on normal, shifty dribble style, 6-3 point guard. His price is going to be somewhere around, like, 2,000 MT. 93 ball, 82 speed, 82 acceleration, 86 lateral. He can't dunk because it's Jose Calderon. If there's any player in his game that deserves a 99 free throw, it's Jose Calderon, in fairness to him. He can get clamps. He has good lateral. Pick dodger, pick pocket. If you're not putting on ball, there's no point giving him clamps. He's 6'3 with a decent wingspan. Catch and shoot, circus threes, hot zone under set shooter, corner specials, difficult shots. I wish he had, like, if he had sniper, if he had things like sniper and, like, chef or something, he would be nice. He actually would be nice. He's not bad. Like, he's not bad at all for a uh, budget point guard. Good behind the back. Decent dribble moves. He's not a bad player at all. He's really not. And I want to see what his half badge is. So, I assume it's the exact same. What's his half badge? Half set shooter? Why did you give half set shooter to a point guard? Why? Why did you give half set shooter to a point guard, lads? 2K. Come on. Come on, 2K. But Jose Calderon is legitimately good. Jose Calderon, legitimately a good player. Get, like, literally, it's a borderline useless badge for point guard. Just get this, get, get whichever Calderon's cheaper. Get both of them for XP, but get whichever Calderon is cheaper. And that is pretty much it. Just get whichever Jose Calderon is cheaper. Or whichever one you like the card out more for. Um, That is another big thing. Get whichever Jose Calderon that you like the card art more for. So, then we have Des Mason. Des Mason, 87 speed, serviceable three ball, 85 lateral quickness, 95 driving dunk, goal limitless takeoff. He comes with bronze clamps, quick first step on goal, glue hands on goal, space creator, 85 lateral. He's J.R. Smith on quick. Base dribble style, not the greatest behind the back in the world. He's not terrible either. Man, none of these cards are bad. He's not spectacular. He's fine. Like, if you, that release is super easy. If he could get, if he had maybe catch and shoot or something, he'd be all right. But he's got good lateral, good steal. Decent on-ball steal tendency. Great driving dunk. He's perfectly, perfectly fine. He is perfectly, perfectly fine. So then we have, we're going to check um, signature sign. We're going to check signature sign for Des Mason. Limitless takeoff. That's a pretty good badge to have. I'm going to say both Des Masons are basically the same. I'm going to say both Des Masons are basically the same card, honestly. But just get whichever one you want. They're both pretty good. They're both pretty good. So then we have got Juwan Howard. So Juwan Howard, 78 speed. Got Grace under pressure, Hall of Fame. 74 three ball, 77 lateral, 80 driving dunk. Is he really that ass? Oh, thank God. They changed his release. If you guys don't know, Juwan Howard, this card version of Juwan Howard, had LaMarcus Aldridge base, which was useless. And at least they gave him Mario Stad Mario base. Kind of sucks, though. And my kind of sucks. I mean, he really sucks. Uh, he really sucks. He gets goal rebound chaser. I get it. Can't really shoot. Isn't particularly fast. Can't dribble the ball. I mean, he can post spin the AI. He kind of sucks. Like, is there... Like, chat, am I, am I wrong in saying that he kind of sucks? Juwan Howard... He gets po oh you know a half post spin technician with half with a uh, dream shake. He can be cheese. He can be kind of cheesy in the post. But he's not very good. 
Actually, can he play center? No. If he can play center, he could be like some weird poor man's Chris Webber. Like, if he could play center, you could genuinely argue he's a poor man's Chris Webber. But, um, no, he can't. He can't. If he could play center, he'd be something, but he can't play center. Just to make sure of that. Yeah, that's that's the problem. He is a big small forward, but if he could play center, he'd be something else. So, Bruce Bowen. No finishing badges. 89 three ball, 83 speed. 96 lateral quickness. Hoff clumps on his base card. Oh, dear lord. Corner specials, blinders, catch and shoot, green machine. Hot zone hunter, set shooter. Hot zones everywhere that matters. Base 40. Dribble sticks don't matter. Oh my god, this guy is clamp man. This guy is clamp man, lads. He is clamp man. 96 lateral. Decent on ball steal tendency. 89 three ball. Yes, he can't shoot the free throw. But who needs to shoot free throws when you're not going to walk inside the three-point line? 65 driving look. He's not walking inside the three-point line. Dude is like ML car, but less driving. And better, way better shooting. Hoff comes. Gold pickpocket. Gold pick dodger. I'm saying it's your sign, by the way. Sorry. Normal him probably doesn't get half clamps, does he? It's half corner specialist. No, he literally gets half clamps on his signature signs. He's clamp man. He's very. This card is good. Like it's this card is very good, by the way. The normal signature. I check sign first. The normal signature. Bruce Bowen is clamp man. It's not base. It's not base Bruce Bowen. So normal Bruce Bowen is clamp man. Is good, but like sign Bruce Bowen is legitimately the number one clamp man in the game. He's god. He's god. Bruce Bowen is that dude. So then we got Aldridge. Aldridge. His release is so bad that they have to give him a different person's base. So Lamarcus Aldridge. 85 three ball. 66 lateral quickness. 69 speed. 69 acceleration. Elite post game. Goal post spin technician. Half dream shake. If they give him half post spin technician. Oh dear lord. He gets half catch and shoot. Half rim shooter. Half set shooter. If they give him. Surely he gets fade ace. Does he? Yeah. If they give him half post spin technician. Dear Lord, dear Lord, this guy is going to literally, if you off-ball this guy in the post, your player's going to be diving out of the way with half dream shake. Yes, oh, dear Lord, oh, dear Lord. Oh, my God, you guys are going to see it. I'm, you guys will see it. Literally, you give a dream shake fake with half post spin technician, your player dives out of the way and it's a guaranteed basket. You have to on-ball. He makes it that you have to on-ball the post. If there are any plays where your post player can work as a playmaker... He literally, literally can just do that every single time. Aldridge is, he's a niche player. Don't get me wrong, he's a niche player. But my God, does, is he the best at that niche? Like if you can have a coach that boosts his speed, man, you're looking at a really good center here. You're looking at a really good center, especially the signed version of Aldridge. I don't know what price he's going to be, but you're looking at a really nice center. So Jalen Brown, half catch and shoot, half snipe, or say gold sniper, silver limitless spot up, 89 speed, 90 lateral, 90 driving dunk. Oh, hell no. He's a demon. He is a demon. Half pick dodger, half tire defender, gold clamps, gold pickpock, gold interceptor. Base 75. That's, that card's really freaking good, lads. Jalen's so good. And Jalen's one of the best two guards in the game, no question about it. Gold sniper. I don't know what price he's going to end up as, like, but he's so good. Limitless spot up as well on silver. If that badge works, and it's upgradable to gold, man. If that badge works and badges go cheap again, I'm telling you, if he's, like, 60, 70K, he's so, he's so good. Like, he's going to be one of the best players in the game. He is honestly going to be one of the best guards in the game. And then we got Jalen Brown, the other card. So what new one does he get? He gets Posterizer. You know what? Posterizer is actually a pretty good badge. Like, Posterizer lets you absolutely jam it on people. Posterizer is a really, really good badge. Like, does he have Slithery? Like, he's just Slithery on goal with half Posterizer. Posterizer basically just means he gets contacts non-stop. He's good, man. He's good. I'm sorry. He is really good. Jalen Brown is that dude. He is that dude. So then we got Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry. 
97 three ball, 91 speed, 92 acceleration. Dude, they gave him 87 lateral quickness. And a 92 steal. Did they give him interceptor? Only bronze interceptor. Okay. He's at the tiny player build, though, so he's going to get hunted like Kyrie. Wait, why can't he get mismatch? That's weird. So he can't get mismatch. And he... Oh, stuck him. You know what? Bronze quick percept is better than none. Bronze is fine. None to bronze, okay. 98 ball handle in October? All right, you do you 2 k okay. They have a 92 steal. Still got all the staff animations. I mean, he does what he does. He does what he does. Like, he's Steph Curry. Like, no quick chain. No glue hands. Like, glue hands doesn't really matter if you're just gonna be dribbling the ball with him all the time. Only bronze downhill. Silver unpluckable. Only got qu no quick chain. Only silver floor general. He's got gold anchor breaker. He's got bullet. He's got handles for days. Still got all the shooting badges. Does not get half range, surprisingly enough. Like, this card is not even... By the way, this card is not even close. He is not even close to um, Steph Curry's pink diamond from last year. I'm just putting it out there right now. But um, he is very good. And then he gets half chef on this one. Yeah, like, half chef, he's literally going to be pulling from, like, here with these. Um, but still really good. Chef is a pretty good game. But, like, he... Chef's pretty good badge. He is the best three hunter in the game. Don't get me wrong. He's the best at that. But, like, he's not a flawless card. So, then we get Dwight Howard. This guy's going to be, like, 250k lock-in. 85 speed. 82 lateral. Can't shoot the ball. Good post moves. Got half posterizer. Got, like... Got no clamps. Got box intimidator. He got 82 lateral, which is pretty good. Rebound chaser, post move, lockdown. I mean, he's the best interior big in the game. But, like... Do you really want to use an interior? Do you really want to use an interior big? Like, that's... That's the whole question with Dwight Howard. It's like, do you really want to use an interior big? And are you willing to pay, like... Like, how, how much better is he? He's like DeAndre Jordan with a post hook. I'm not even kidding. He's DeAndre Jordan with a post hook. Like, sorry, plus... No, he's got plus 10 speed. He's DeAndre Jordan with better speed and better lateral. Yeah. He's better. Don't get me wrong. He's better than DJ. But again, like, I don't like interiors anyway. So, for these cards right here, Steph Curry is the best three hunter in the game. He is the best three hunter in the game. No question about it. If that's the way you like to play, perfect card for you. If not, dodge him. If you are not a really good three hunter, Steph Curry is going to be a liability on the floor because of the way, because the way he's going to get hunted on defense. Dwight Howard is the best interior big in the game. If you don't like interior bigs, do not change your play style to get Dwight Howard. And um, Jalen Brown is the most plug and play card on this list. He is the most, he is the guy that's going to fit into most people's squads and is going to be the guy who probably has the most longevity outside of Steph for a certain few people. Um, Lamarcus Aldridge is a niche player. If you're someone that likes to abuse post spins and dream shakes, um, he can basically, he's got badges that he, if you are being guarded by Rick Smith, you can post spin Rick Smith with Lamarcus Aldridge with ease. Like he can guard, he can post spin Dikembe with those badges. It is ridiculous. But he is a very niche player. Bruce Bowen is going to be... He's going to be Clamp Man. He's got that Clamps badge on uh, gold. I'm saying on Hall of Fame. Gold on his normal. He's going to be Clamp Man. Juwan Howard is just like... He's going to be fine. He's going to be like 10 KMT. If you get him in draft, he's going to do pretty well. Um, Des Mason. Shooting leaves a bit to be desired. But overall game is pretty good. And Jose Calderon. I actually think he's a really nice player. Kind of reminds me of a little bit better shooting. A little bit worse. Uh, slash into the basket. Kobe White. But a little bit smaller. Like, Jose, Cal Jose Calderon has a lot of good things. So, I'm going to thumbs up. I'm going to, like, thumbs even on Steph Curry. My thumbnail is going to say thumbs down, Dwight, thumbs up, Steph Curry. Or probably thumb... But, like, it literally is all play style dependent with both of them. Um, Jalen Brown is probably the best player in the set. Lamarcus Aldridge. For me, he's good. But for most people, he's going to be ass. Bruce Bowen. He's going to be just a really, really good defensive player. Juwan Howard. It all depends on how you use him, but he can be he's gonna be a more than solid player. If you really want to use Dwight Howard or Dwan Howard, he can do it. He can do the job. Des Mason is more than solid, especially if he's needed for limited. And Jose Calderon is more than solid if he's needed for limited. This is a solid, this is a really good drop. This is a really, really good drop. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. There are no players that I can say that are, that are useless. Every player has some sort of a niche. Every player has some sort of a niche, so we should be okay. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads that is the video 
Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't worry, we're going to have the reward card straight on after this. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.